Hi everyone, I thought I'd make a video and show the uh, latest project that I've been working on. It is a 10 finger uh, flex sensor arrangement built into two gloves uh, to do motion capture of all 10 fingers. And I used these flex sensors which you can get from SparkFun. They're made by uh, Spectra Symbol and it's basically a variable resistor that uh, changes value when you flex it. Uh, they typically only work in one direction so it's flat you get about 10k and when you um, bend it I think it goes up to about 15k or something like that. So what I've done is I've mounted them on these gloves. These are uh, Under Armour brand the Yard 2 which I selected because these uh, they're, they're batting gloves uh, and I selected them because the, uh, they have sort of like a two-ply construction so the outer layer is like this synthetic leather and the under layer is a a cloth sort of liner on the inside of the glove. So it makes it easy to cut little slits in the leather and then insert the sensor through. And as I'll show you, the uh, mounting is not so trivial. Uh, you can't just sort of glue the sensor on because what happens when you flex a finger, uh, the sensor has to slide a little bit up here. And so if you fix the sensor down, throughout the whole finger length, uh, it's just going to break or it's going to be very difficult to flex the finger because it, it needs to slide up here. So what I've done is I've uh, used a needle and thread to fix the base of the, the bottom of the sensor to this synthetic leather coating and the rest of it is just uh, threaded through the, the glove material here so it can slide pretty easily. So this is, it allows quite a lot of dexterity. Uh, you can actually you know, work with things pretty much normally and uh, the glove doesn't really restrain very much movement. It's still pretty easy to operate things. Uh, each of the ten flex sensors is connected to a negative 5 volt source which is generated in this little monolithic uh, 5 volt converter here. Uh, I'll put some details up on those. And the negative 5 volts is run through the, the sensor which is just a, a variable resistor and then fed into an op-amp circuit. So there's 10 identical op-amp circuits in there. I like using LM324s just because they're good for uh, you know, a low frequency, relatively high uh, or low DC offset. So they're good for DC circuits and voltage measurement. The trim pots are designed to uh, allow me to sort of calibrate the circuit so that when the fingers are straight, they all give approximately the same voltage output value. So what I did was just lay the gloves flat on a table and then um, go through each sensor and adjust the trim pot so that I got about a nominal three and a half volt signal. And then when the finger is flexed, the voltage goes down. Uh, so three and a half volts is sort of close. It, these aren't rail to rail op amps. So if you feed them a five volt source, you're only guaranteed about three and a half out in this circuit I'm actually feeding them with a 6 volt source so I can go up to about 4.5 volts output voltage and I chose 3.5 for the nominal sensor output just to make sure there was some headroom there. When the finger is fully flexed the voltage goes down to about 1 volt or maybe a volt and a half. The 10 individual analog voltage signals from the op amps are connected to a National Instruments USB 6210 which is uh, just an analog capture device and it makes it easy to get raw analog voltages into a computer. Okay, so here we are in LabVIEW Signal Express. This is just a really basic data capture program. And I'm going to put on both gloves. Okay, and so now the uh, upper graph has five traces on it and so I'll, I'll close my hand and you can see all the traces on the upper graph and I'll open my hand again. Uh, the traces move up and down like this and this is each finger moving. So you can see the different color for each finger. And here's the other hand. The lower graph is the right hand. So we're getting a, a, vol a signal swing from about three and a half volts and if I close my hand completely I get about a volt and a half or two volts on one finger. That's the thumb it looks like. The bottom graph is a, an auto scaling 
uh, graph just to show kind of the noise on one of these lines. I've, I've set the top two graphs not to auto scale, so it's hard to see the noise, but it's easy to see the signal there. If I stop, if I took off the gloves, you can see on the bottom here it's moving from about 3.487 to about 3.49, so really uh, 8, 9, it, it's, it's really only uh, oscillating by a few millivolts, or pretty much the resolution of the, of the digital analog converter, or the analog digital converter. So that's very good. So I don't have an actual application for this yet. This is a project for someone else, and they're going to use the data from the National Instruments uh, software for another analysis. But I think this really could be used for a lot of different things, including, uh, you know, virtual reality and the obvious sort of video game controls. Uh, they're fairly solid gloves. They're, there's a little bit of a problem with these sensors sticking out the front. Um, so if you're repeatedly picking up objects, that might be an issue. But other than that, it leaves the palms totally open, and it really doesn't restrict movement very much. You still retain a lot of good dexterity.